Hey citizens, thanks for stopping by. Today's video, I'll be bringing you for an up close and personal of this 2019 Isuzu MUX. The Isuzu MUX has seven different trim levels available for the Philippine market. And one right here that I'm going to review is the 1.9 RZ4E LSA 4x2 mated to a six-speed automatic gearbox. As always guys, this is going to be a full walk-around review of this Isuzu Mu X LSA 4x2 1.9 RZ4E showing you the most interesting features from the interior as well as the exterior. So what are you waiting for? Let's sit back, relax, and enjoy of this review. <laughs> Powering this Mu X is the new Isuzu's RZ4E TC 1.9 liter Blue Power Technology diesel engine. This engine features a dual overhead cams, 16 valve, and turbocharged 4 cylinder with common rail direct injection, water cooled variable geometry system, and intercooler. This car produces 150 PS at 3600 RPM and 350 Nm of torque between 1800 to 2600 RPM. Compression ratio for the MUX measures 16.5 to 1 with the 65 liters of fuel tank capacity in total and Euro 4 is the mission standard. This engine can be coupled either a manual or an automatic gearbox and both transmissions have 6-speed units. Rear wheel drive is the car layout of the MUX LSA 4x2. Isuzu's latest mid-size 7-seater SUV, the Mu X, made its world premiere in Thailand last October 2013, which was going to be the successor of the outgoing Isuzu Mu 7 or Altiera for the Philippine market only, and began its production in November 2013. The Isuzu Mu X is based on the D-Max pickup truck platform, but both D-Max and Mu X are similar to the Chevrolet's Colorado, and Trailblazer or Colorado 7 due to the collaboration of General Motors and Isuzu. Designs, platforms, and underpinnings are relatively the same as Chevy's and Holden's. This is one of the reasons why the Isuzu Mu X and Chevrolet Trailblazer have the same features and overall aspects. Moreover, the resemblance of the Isuzu Mu X and Chevrolet Trailblazer are literally identical. By the way, the Mu X in Thailand was called a pickup purpose vehicle because it was developed by a pickup truck like Ford Ranger, Toyota Hilux, Mitsubishi Strada, and more. In other words, it is a truck based SUV. A month after the production started in Thailand, the Mu X was launched in Australia way back December 2013, and by the same month and year, the Mu X also launched at the 2013 Tokyo Motor Show. However, the Mu X is not available in Japan due to its exterior dimensions which are not qualified for the Japanese dimension regulations, taxations, and insurances under the Japanese government. To date, only Thailand, Indonesia, Philippines, Australia, Malaysia, Vietnam, and India were only countries that all Mu X will be sold. But Isuzu have a plan to expand its production across 50 countries around the world. Globally, the Mu X has offered with two engine choices the 4JK1-TCX 2.5-liter turbo diesel engine, and the 4JJ1-TSX 3-liter turbo diesel engine. In 2016 saw the introduction of the RZ4E-TC 1.9-liter turbo diesel engine for both D-Max and Mu X globally. The pre-facelift Isuzu Mu X has the codename of RF10. A facelift of the Mu X was introduced at the Bangkok International Motor Show in Thailand last March 2017 with new integrated LED headlights and taillights, new front grille, new sets of mags, new front and rear bumper, better improvements throughout the interior as well as some rest of the features, and the code name of it is RF20. Nevertheless, even the Mu X has totally refreshed, still the engine will remain the same as the outgoing model. Notice that the Isuzu Mu X is really impressive and enjoyable to deal with because of its concept that the name Mu X has a meaning which stands for makes you exciting. The Isuzu Mu X pre facelift was firstly launched in the Philippines way back September 2014, which offers three variants and one engine choice, which was the 4JK1 TCX 2.5 liter turbo diesel engine and the 4JJ1 TSX 3 liter turbo diesel engine was introduced last October 2015. Four years after its first launch of the pre facelift, the facelift version was launched in the same month. Trims are 
LS 4x2, LSA 4x2, LSA Lux 4x2, and the top of the line LSA 4x4. With these trims, there are two engine choices available, a 4JJ1-TSX 3-liter blue power turbo diesel engine and an RZ4E-TC 1.9-liter blue power turbo diesel engine which was launched in 2018 here in the Philippines. This can be mated either a 6-speed manual or a 6-speed automatic gearbox except the 3-liter LSA and LSA Lux trims that is only offered to a 6-speed automatic gearbox. October 2018, Isuzu launches the base trim new XRZ4E LS 4x2 in an automatic gearbox at the Philippine International Motor Show. Exterior features are auto leveling by LED headlights with LED integrated daytime running lights, front fog lights with chrome highlights, chrome front grille, gray metallic lower front grille, intermittent wipers for both front and rear, indicators on the chrome side mirrors, chrome door handles, roof rails, side step boards, rear combination lights with LED position lights, chrome taillight garnish, metallic gray lower back diffuser with reverse light and deflectors, LED high mount stop light, and rear parking sensors. A full-size spare tire is located on the rear underneath. As for safety, the Mu X includes two airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, brake override system, resin under front skid plate, side door impact beams, ELR seat belts in all three rows, Isofix child seat and tether anchors for the rear seats, rear windshield defrosting, anti-theft alarm system, and engine immobilizer. The Mu X LSA 4x2 has fitted to an 18-inch, 6 twin-spoke aluminum alloy rims as standard. These rims are covered in Bridgestone Dweller HD tires measuring 255-60R18. Brakes consist of ventilated discs in all four corners. Suspension-wise, the front gets independent double wishbones while the rear gets multi-link setup. Both suspensions have coil springs and stabilizer bars. 24 degrees, 25.1 degrees, and 19.5 degrees are the approach, departure, and breakover angle of the Mu X with a 230mm of ground clearance. The Isuzu Mu X LSA trim comes with the Isuzu's Smart Key Access System. As you keep the remote key on yourself, you will utilize the black button found on the driver's side door handle. Press the black button to lock the car, and after waiting for a few moments of seconds, just put your hand behind the door handle to unlock. Speaker down there, bottle holder, little storage. Center locking, window lock. Mirror controls, all four windows on this car are fully powered, while the driver's side window gets an automatic function in both directions. Cup holder for the driver's side. Mirror controls, power folding mirrors. This lever pops up your fuel door, and this lever right here pops up your bonnet. The driver's seat on this Mu X gets a fully manual adjustment. Got your seat back, height, and sliding position controls. The Isuzu Mu X LSA 4x2 gets a rack and pinion power steering system with hydraulic assistance as standard. The steering wheel itself was covered in leather with silver accents in both two spokes as well as your multifunction controls. The steering wheel itself is obviously a three-spoke design. As mentioned earlier on, the Mu X 1.9 RZ4E can be coupled either a manual or an automatic transmission. Both gearboxes have six-speed units. This car has featured with a sequential manual shifting via the positive and the negative sign down through the gear lever. A reverse camera will appear at the infotainment display and your rear parking sensors is activated once you put your car into reverse.
Let's start first with the center console. Right here, got your center armrest, and underneath of the center armrest, you've got your massive amount of storage area. Two cup holders, or one cup holder and uh, one storage area, depending what you use it for. Hand operated parking brake. Little storage right here. I power out it. USB port for charging. And another USB port with your auxiliary port. Single zone automatic climb control system with all of your controls located right here. It is quite simple to use. On top, you got your uh, air conditioning, off button, automatic, different modes, fan speed, rear defrost, front defrost, recirculation, outside air. This knob right here controls your temperature. The MUX LSA is standard with an infotainment touchscreen audio head unit, which features an 8 inch colored screen display various media connectivity options, navigation, and six speakers for the sound system. Here's the screen itself. Right here, got your volume knob, and at the same time, your power button, eject button, source, navigation, DVD, tuner, GPS, and your smart dial. It also doubles up as your tuning knob. CD player, hazard switch, Air convents on both sides. Usually you have your little storage on top. On the right stalk, you got your wiper controls and at the end of the Wiper stalk, you got your information button right here. While on the left stalk, you got your light and indicator controls. The same as the wiper stalk. At the end, you got your information button. This information button that goes through your multi-information display by pressing this button right here. On the left spoke of your steering wheel, you have your multifunction controls for your infotainment display with your volume button, seek track, mode, and telephone button. The steering wheel on this car gets a manual tilt only, adjusting using the receiver right here. Grip handles located at the A pillar for both driver and front passenger. Grip handles on top for the driver's side. The driver's side does get a sun visor. Cabin lights for the front, sunglass holder, and the manual dimming rear view mirror. Speaker down there, bottle holder, little storage, window control, to gain access through the back, use this lever right here, just pull this lever, this lever right here, uh, controls you to recline the seat back on the middle row. 
Now I'm at the last row of the uh, of the Isuzu Mu X, and let's check the legroom and headroom. By the way, I do stretch my feet underneath the driver's seat, which is quite nice. I have this much, and I have this much in terms of uh, headroom. Space-wise, young guys, uh, hindi siya no, hindi siya crampy na uh, na pagsalubong mo sa last row seat ng Isuzu Mu X parang hindi siya crampy although kung unless kung 6 footer ka kasi ako 59 uh, makikita mo guys wala wala naman problema dito eh, hindi naman siya medyo spacious siya pero hindi man siya crampy at uh, Ang mas ano dyan, ang mas uh, mabuti dyan ang yung mga small adult at yung or children makauupo dito sa back seat ng Isuzu Mu X na. So, usually para sa mga bata ito or small individual lang or or may height na 55, 54 uh, mas uh, maliit pa kaysa sa mga matangkad. Pero hindi siya bagay sa mga mga tanggad. Pero kagaya sa akin, mas okay na naman siya dito. No? So, ayun. Overall, uh, it is not uh, crampy right here. Parang sakto lang. It is not crampy. It is not very spacious. But it just fits right on my own perspective. We do have cup holders and storage on this side. While on this side, you have cup holder. Grip handles on both sides for the C pillar. As well as your air vent. Very little storage right here. For extra convenience. I do set the driver's seat in a position that I feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7 which is about 1.7 meters tall. I do have the room to stretch out my feet underneath of the driver's seat. As for leg room, I have this much as big as this. While the headroom, I have this much as big as this. Normally, the back seat of the Isuzu Mu X is very... Not saying that it is very spacious, although it's a... Perfectly spacious through the back in terms of that groom. Storage pockets on both front seat backs. As well as your hook that weighs 4 kilograms. At the back, you have your USB port. For charging right here got your entertainment screen at the back so that you can entertain those people in the back seat and if you don't want to use it just close it or if you want to use again push this button right here and put it down Reading lights, your manual fan speed that has a three setting mode, air can vent on both sides for the rear, grip handles with hook on both sides for the rear. You have also your center armrest. open this with your two cup holders
go open up the rear hatch, go towards the hatch itself, and locate the touch pad underneath of the number plate. 235 liters of space is the total cargo volume of the MUX when all second and third row seats are in place. Fold down the third row and it will create 878 liters of space and folding down both second and third row, the maximum cargo volume of this SUV measures 1,830 liters of space. As found on the boot, there are two tied-out points on both sides, a power outlet to the left, and a light that illuminates the area. A tool kit and jack are located to the right side of the boot, which is behind the cover. The doors open quite wide in an almost like 90 degree angle which provides you easy entrance and exit. Adjustable headrest in all three rows of the seats. Speaker down there, bottle holder, window control, cup holder for the driver's side, sorry, front passenger side. You have the same adjustments as you found on the driver's side. However, it loses out on the height adjustments. Lockable glove box, which is perfect in size. However, this glove box is not enough to put to put uh, uh, large items in. You have also a good amount of storage area with your 12 volt power outlet that has a maximum of 120 watts of power. Isuzu Mu X emblem. Sun visor with a vanity mirror for the front passenger side. I forgot to mention, you have your push button start, and here's the button to turn on your rear air conditioning. Well guys, I hope you enjoy of this full walk around review of this 2019 Isuzu Mu X 
1.9 RZ4E LSA 4x2 mated to a 6-speed automatic gearbox. If you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell button to get notified for my latest updates. And don't forget, follow all of my social media platforms. As always, guys, I'll see you next time with for more latest videos on YouTube. Thank you for watching and bye-bye, guys.